Welcome to this side of the radio. My name is Shane, K5QBF, and today I've got a quick video on the telescopic mast that I use for my uh, portable ham radio operations. That guy right there. That is a Spider Beam HD 12 meter or 40 foot telescopic pole. Uh, each section is about 3.3 feet in length. Uh, it collapses down to believe about, uh, oh, maybe a foot, foot and a half uh, total length. I'll put the uh, the actual measurement uh, up on the screen. But uh, one thing I really liked about it was the, uh, it, it's really heavy duty. Uh, some of the, the uh, telescopic mass that you get, uh, there seems to be, you know, one, the very, very tip of that mast is very flexible and seems to break if you, if you put too much of a load on it. Uh, one thing I like about this, this particular mast is the, uh, the top section is very, it's very thick. And uh, I've had this pole, um, well, I won't say overloaded, but I will say I've had this pole up pretty uh, in some 20, 25 mile per hour winds and uh, it held up very well. It telescopes out just like any other pole where you twist the pieces together as you go up. Uh, it's more designed for a uh, uh, portable operation. You can use it in a, uh, a permanent solution, but I would, I would suggest putting some uh, hose clamps with some tubing um, wrapped around them. And I've, I would advise putting that on there so that if you have a section that does decide to collapse on you, it will catch and it will keep the rest of the uh, uh, mass from coming down on you. Um, so far, uh, you can guide this up to 20, 25 mile per hour winds. You can guide this uh, on the first section. That's what uh, what I've got. Do what I'm doing here. Uh, I will say though, if you're going to go, if it, if you suspect that it's going to be windier, I I would highly suggest that you go up to the eighth section. Um, that way, you get a little bit more support higher up, and the pole won't flex quite as much. But great pole, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's easy to put up. It holds just about everything that. Uh, I need to put up great antenna um, or great uh, mast if you're looking for something portable um, I think it ran me about a hundred bucks shipped they're made in Germany uh, there is a place here in uh, in the States uh, directly from Tennessee and um, like I said it took me about a week I think to get it but uh, overall I, I love it and uh, I tell you what let me let me uh, hoist this thing in the air and uh, let me throw a little a different perspective for you There's another option you have of uh, supporting that mass if you don't have the uh, place to guide off. This is a drive up mount. So that sits underneath the tire. And as you can see, I'm about, yeah. <laughs> but this makes a uh, perfect spot for, um, for mounting this mast in case you, uh, you don't want to, you know, if it's muddy, um, you don't have a place to guide it. I uh, highly advise getting one of these. Uh, I, I love the mast and um, I, it's met and exceeded all of my expectations. So if you're in the, in the market for a, a, uh, a portable mast, I highly suggest the Spider Beam. Thanks for uh, checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.